and let's turn our attention to the women's with UTEP miners who are receiving votes in the national polls for the fourth week in a row. Doesn't surprise me. Keitha Adams is an outstanding basketball coach down at UTEP. I have a chance to go to their practices usually in October. And what she does the first couple of weeks, she stresses fundamentals, blocking out, diving for balls, rebounding, just doing the little things that makes your team good. And you look at their stats offensively and defensively, very, very solid. They're number two in the conference in scoring defense right now. That's what Keitha Adams stresses. That's why this team is undefeated in conference play heading into this week. Then WKU, the 2015 defending conference champs, are picking up right where they left off last year and are currently 10-2, riding a seven-game win streak. You know, Michelle Clark Hurd does a good job because they just keep reloading this team. I mean, they lose a couple of uh, players from last season, they bring in players. But their system, she's got that system down. She played at Western Kentucky. She understands what the school is all about in the city. This is a good basketball team. And you look at their scoring margin right now, they're almost plus nine for the season. You're going to win a lot of basketball games with that. Another conference team who is 10-2 overall is Marshall. The Thundering Herd haven't lost a game at home yet this season and rank second in the conference in scoring offense. You know, Matt Daniel is another one of those coaches that has this infectious personality. When he took over the job, first thing he did is he spruced up the facilities. He got the locker room good. He has teardrops, he calls them, every time you do something good. You know, like the, the stickers on helmets for football? That's what he does for basketball, and he rewards everything. He is so enthusiastic about his players. He challenges them every day during practice and on games. He is an outstanding basketball coach, and he has done a good job this year, obviously, with Marshall. Then lastly, North Texas entered the year with a first-year head coach, and even though it's only January and conference play just began, the Mean Green have already won more games than they won all of last season. Kudos to Jaylee Mitchell, the, the head coach, all-time leading scorer in North Texas history. That's a tough place to play up there because you don't get the huge crowds, and she has come in, and she's done what everybody thought she would do, and she did as a player. I mean, you look at what she did her history when she played at North Texas. That's exactly what she's doing as a head coach. Doesn't surprise me that she's winning. Now let's look at the schedule for some of our upcoming women's games. On January 7th, we have a handful of conference teams matching up. One game featuring this year's preseason favorite, Middle Tennessee, traveling to play UTEP. Okay, Middle Tennessee, think one thing, the big three. Bria Edwards, Olivia Jones, Ty Petty. When they're on, they're very, very difficult to beat. But then we go back to what we just said about UTEP. Fifth in offense, averaging about 71 points a game, but second in defense at 56 points a game. And what stands out a couple of years ago, UTEP had obviously some superstars. This year, no real superstars. They just play as a team. This is an outstanding matchup. And once again, can UTEP's defense stand tall in this? One more game I want to mention on January the 7th, we've got Louisiana Tech and ODU. You go back in the history of women's basketball. These are two of the top four winningest teams in the history of women's basketball. Louisiana Tech, Leon Barmore, the coach. You think about it, Kim Mulkey, now the Baylor coach you played for. Him. Then you have ODU, the great teams with Nancy Lieberman and Donovan. These are two prolific programs in the history of women's basketball. They made it possible for what women are doing right now. That's going to be a fun game on January the 7th. A full day of conference games on January 9th is highlighted in a competitive match between WKU and FAU. You know, Western Kentucky's on a, on a win streak. Some would call it a quiet win streak. I don't know, but they are showing us why they're the defending champions right now. Uh, Tasha Brown, who had six 20-point outings so far this season, she's the big gun for Western Kentucky. Florida Atlantic, fourth best in the league in offense. Allie Gorell averaging about 14 and a half points a game. FAU, obviously a good basketball team, much improved from last year, but can they beat Western Kentucky? That's going to be a litmus test for them.